Okay, so I have loaded the images. There are 60 of them, and they are each 55 seconds in duration. So the first thing I'm going to do is visually inspect the images. And this is actually a new false color mode that I've added to the upcoming version of Tycho. So this will be in the next release. So anyway, the question is the asteroid that we want to find. Uh, as it turns out, uh, if we just scroll through the images, uh, then you can actually see it fairly easily here. So uh, this is the asteroid right here. So it's pretty bright and the intuition of most uh, would be that the tracker should have no problem detecting it because it's so bright. However, uh, if we go to the tracker settings, then as you can see for the star mass threshold, the asteroid is actually initially uh, obscured by the mask. So if I go ahead and toggle to star mask only, then you can see that uh, it is act is, it will be uh, suppressed by the star mask. And that is because it is both bright and slow moving. And I say slow moving for the duration of this data set. It, it has not moved uh, a great deal from start to finish. So that is why it could be masked out, uh, is both because it is bright and slow moving. So anyway, what we could do is we could uh, manually uh, override this setting so we can adjust the star mass threshold. And as you can see, now it should be detectable and we still can mask out some of the brighter stars. But I, I won't do that just yet. Let's just go ahead and see what it looks like if we run the tracker uh, like that. So I'm going to give it these settings and I've already determined the rough speed and position angle of it. So the object is moving at 0.5 arc seconds per minute and 297. So I just put in a few limits here. So I click OK and these are the results that are returned. And as you can see, it has identified, after I go ahead and let this run, it has identified one asteroid, but it is not the one that we want. So if I go back and then adjust the static threshold, so now it is no longer masked out by the threshold. Then we can go ahead and run the tracker again. And this time, let's go ahead and see what it has found. So now it has found two asteroids. And indeed, the first one is the bright object that we looked at earlier. So if I go ahead and scroll through the track positions, then you can see that it has easily detected and tracked the bright asteroid. So this is one of the scenarios where you might have to do a bit of manual intervention. And it's just because the static threshold by default is set up to suppress bright and slow moving or ideally static objects such as stars. So in this case, you can see that we had to override the default. And yes, the other asteroid is here. Uh, you might not see it on the individual exposure, but if I select all of the frames and adjust the contrast, then you can see that we do have another asteroid in the field of view. In fact, we can even uh, animate these frames and you can see the movement there. So anyway, that is the uh, uh, particular nuance to this asteroid here, you had to uh, override the default static threshold. So anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.